Hey guys, welcome back to Furniture Flipping Teacher. If you're new here, my name is Lauren and I am a full-time kindergarten teacher who recently paid off my student loan debt by flipping furniture. And now I am on a mission to earn money to put toward a down payment on a house by flipping furniture while along the way teaching you a way that you can earn a little extra money and maybe pay down some of your debts as well. Today we are going to be flipping these two chairs. They're actually not swivel rockers this time. They've got legs. We love chairs with legs. This is so in style right now and I'm excited because these are a little bit of some, I guess, uglier colors you could say. Now this green I have no doubt will sell quite fast because this green is very in style. I actually got my most profit from a green chair like this. It was a different style but it was the same color, had the legs, all of the things. And then this brown chair, I was really unsure. I was actually garage sailing with my mom and my Nana and I passed up on this one and it was only $5. I passed it. I went onto my Instagram. I did a poll. Should I go back and get it? Should I pass? I got almost a hundred percent of people saying go back. What were you doing? Or they thought I had already got it. Well, I ended up going back, picking it up for $5. So I'm excited to see if my market likes this color just as much as your guys's. And then this one I got, well, my mom found at Goodwill for $25. So we're $30 in with both of these chairs. And I think I'm gonna try something different with the skirts on these. So keep watching if you wanna see a possible new way that might save us a little time instead of tearing off the bottom of the skirt. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna start on this green one and I'm gonna flip it over to see what we've got underneath. See if our method is going to work. Okay, so this is a contender to be ripped, but I have seen lots of people try a different method and instead of ripping off the skirts, they have been just simply folding them under. So that still gives it a clean look underneath instead of having those um, staple marks and then the little bit of fading underneath, it's all kind of matched and finished. So we are going to give that a try as well. Now the only thing I'm not 100% sure about is this part right here. So yeah, cause that covers Unless I, I don't know. I don't know, cause that looks funky to me. We're gonna see how it goes. Well, if you know me, I'm a very stubborn person. And when it comes to this chair, I'm not really too sure how to go about just folding under especially around the legs. The ones that I've seen people do have swivel rockers and so that's a lot easier because the corners don't have anything and you can add legs on after you put the skirt under. So I'm just gonna stick to my old habits and I am going to rip off this skirt. Plus it's really not that hard to rip off these skirts and it's been so long since I have done one. So I'm excited to rip again. Yes, I'm using my classic scissor method where I'm gonna stick the scissors under the crease, the seam here, get it started so that I can get my pliers under there. And I've gotten actually tons and tons and tons and tons of questions about if people say anything about these markings. And the answer is no. If they don't want the markings there, then chances are they wouldn't inquire about them. We don't hide them in the photos as you have seen. And not only that, but when they get here and they see the chair in person, they've never ever mentioned this bottom line here. I know it's a different color, but it really doesn't matter. So stop overthinking it and just rip. We'll just say we started at like 4.50, so it's been like two minutes. Let's 
So see, two minutes to rip off the skirt, guys. Two minutes. And then yes, I have some staples to remove, but that only is gonna take me two more minutes. We got this. I love it when there's not as many staples that stay in. Come to this side though. I think it's because of the way that I ripped it. I don't know. There was a few more staples that stayed in there. Couple on the front left in there. That one's done. Less than five minutes. Let's do the brown one now. <laughs> I gotta do a shout out to our neighbor, Cassie. The other night she was telling us that she's watching our videos and her son comes in the room and is like, are you watching Lauren again? And I just thought that that was so cute and innocent and hilarious and that's just so how kids are. I love it. No staples, we got this. Ah. One. Oh, only one though. Ah, two. <gasps> two staples. Good job. One. Two. The hard part is all finished. All we gotta do is clean. Also, another good thing to look at that I just thought of before I started cleaning is always be on the lookout for tags on furniture. Even whether it's a chair or dresser or nightstands or whatever, if you find a name brand, you can picture that in your listing and then chances are those people are gonna go check it out, look it up, that adds value, especially if it's a more well-known company as well. Also, it's probably more likely that if it's a specific company and there's tags on it still, it's a better made piece of furniture. Let's talk about vacuum real quick. So it's not just a vacuum, it has water compartments and I put cleaner in it. So I classify it as like an upholstery cleaner almost. It is a Bissell Little Green Pet Heat Pro. There is a blue one that's on Amazon that I will link down below. Same thing, um, same brand, all of that does the same thing. So I'll link that for all of you guys who are wanting to get started flipping chairs. I know these have been a little bit harder to find and I think it's because just more and more and more and more people are discovering that these are either cool to have in their house or a really good profitable furniture flip. So keep your eye out, they are out there. It's been a while since I've found some, maybe. All right, we're gonna keep going. I am going to, I already actually filled this with water and cleaner. The cleaner, you just get any Bissell cleaner and I buy antibacterial helps, especially the time and day, the age we're in, the pandemic and all that stuff. Let's get started. Mine's actually pretty old. I've had it for like several months and I use it a lot. So I probably need to get a new one here soon. The water sprayer goes a little crazy. It still works though.
Ugh. I gotta empty it. Yuck. That dirty water. That's why we clean, right guys? Now we gotta do the cushions. Chairs are finished. Time, less than one hour. Less than one hour to rip off the skirt and clean them. So now we got a stage, but we'll still be under an hour because right now we're only at 40 minutes. So let's see how long staging is gonna take us. As you can see, we've got a, a set that's being worked on back there. Hint, hint, stay tuned. Staging is coming at you next. Alrighty, we got it all ready for photos, but I did want to just touch up these legs just a little bit. Um, so I'm just gonna, there's some paint I think got on there. Uh, so I'm just gonna kind of peel that off. Kind of wipe these down a little bit. And then as far as the wood marks here, a good idea to have is a furniture repair marker. Now I don't, ever recommend doing this on like huge places or anything like that but when it's just small little nicks in different things dark wood they have tons of different colors as well you just basically color it in and then you can't even see it and then you can do a couple of different applications of it as well um, but basically that's all it is you just cover it up Color it in all the little areas. And then this one I think had some tape on it for some reason. Sometimes I just wonder what people do with their furniture. <laughs> Why is there tape on this leg? I don't know. It's coming off on like the smallest pieces ever. I think we are ready for some photos. Cons of having an outdoor staging area. The only con. Okay, so for staging, we're going with a pretty simple setup here. We've got this little plant that we got from uh, one of our supporters on from our Amazon wish list, and it is perfect for this chair. The more simple, the better. We just want to disclose any imperfections that there might be. So yes, there is a little small mark right here. So I'll definitely be sure to highlight those in my photos. I'm just going to take some photos. I always try to take 10 to fit the Facebook Marketplace allowance. Okay, so sometimes, which actually this is my first time, but sometimes you might run into a little issue where the markers that you have, or you can't find a marker that matches the color of the legs. So this is the case, and there's some pretty rough spots on the legs. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna be taking a little bit of gel stain, and gel stain is perfect because it will adhere even though I'm not gonna be sanding down all the way. I'm gonna do a little light scuff sand on the surface and then we're gonna put some gel stain 
Um, I can go ahead and take photos once that's done and drying. I'm gonna grab my gel stain. Okay, so I'm gonna just protect my area here. It's a little bit of extra work than I wanted to do, but hey, gotta do what you gotta do. So I'm gonna make sure that this does not get on any of the fabric. Gonna take some sandpaper here. Wipe the dust back. Okay, and now I've got Dixie Bell's No Pain Gel Stain in the color Walnut. Got my foam brush here so we can have nice and controlled strokes. Sheesh. If you wanted to, you could honestly do this on all of the legs that, uh, or all of the chairs that you find these legs. Um, it just kind of gives it a little bit of a new life, new look, freshen up coat of color. Yeah, and then I'm gonna do it on the other one as well. Alrighty, we got all of that on there. It's drying. I'm gonna go ahead and take the tapes off. Make sure I got everywhere. Look at that. Some new kicks. Okay, these are all photographed and now it is time to decide how much I am going to post them for on Facebook Marketplace. So for this green one, as I said, I've sold a similar one before actually two of this color. There is a very small amount of same color chairs that I have flipped before, and this is one of the colors that I actually have. There's two times, one was not on the channel, one was on the channel, so this is actually the highest color that I've sold, 195, so I'm gonna go ahead and try my luck at listing it for 200. I might do the 195 because that's just not as daunting as the 200 is, so we'll see. Um, kind of just do it as I go. And then for the tan one, I am going to also try and list that one at around 185 to 200. Again, it's kind of just a, what am I feeling at that moment right there? I'll just say minor imperfections and then I'll list that they are mid-century modern chairs, especially because of the legs and basically smoke-free, pet-free home. They are cleaned. I know that they are smoke-free because they don't smell and then pet-free because there's no hair all over them. And so I feel confident enough and my home is neither smoking or have pets in it. So that really helps with um, listings as well because it notifies the people that it's in clean condition and then that I just deep cleaned them and that they're ready for pickup in my city. And then I'll also be offering delivery. So if you have the means of delivery, that's a great way to earn a little bit of extra cash as well. So now that we've got Felipe, we've been able to deliver a few pieces, I think two or three already. And so that'll give us another extra 25 uh, dollars, depending if it's close to you, if it's farther away from you, you can still offer delivery. You just need that price to go up so that it can cover not only your gas, but also your mileage and your time, of course, because time is essential. And speaking of time, this set or not even set, these two chairs flipped took me less than one hour from start to finish. And all I've got to do is go post those on Facebook Marketplace. Well, here we are, sits the chair and the tan one is still here too. Well, 
Originally today we were gonna release a different video and we had a little bit of time issue where that project is taking me just a little bit longer than I had anticipated it. No big deal, what's new? That's just the life of furniture flipping. So anyway, these chairs I actually just posted yesterday. So they've been on the market for less than 24 hours. I listed them both at $200. I got one inquiry about this chair. They thought that it was gold, but unfortunately it's green. They needed gold. So hopefully in the near future, I will find a gold one for them. Them. Head over to Instagram at Furniture Flipping Teacher and give us a follow and we will notify you when these two chairs sell. On Monday, we have got a never before seen on Furniture Flipping Teacher's YouTube channel video for you guys. It's gonna be a good one. You're not gonna wanna miss it. So get subscribed down below. We will continue to take you along on our journey of flipping furniture to earn money to put toward a down payment on a house. So I hope you guys enjoyed and saw just how easy, easy, easy furniture flipping can be. You don't have to get out a paintbrush if you don't want to. If you're wanting to get into furniture flipping, I would highly suggest just starting with a chair. You don't really have to get any other materials. Even if you don't want to invest in a Bissell vacuum or an upholstery cleaner, you can also just vacuum it with your vacuum and then wipe it down, maybe spray some Febreze on it. As long as there's no bugs or major stains, people are really, really interested in these style of chairs. So easy, get out there, find yourself a mid-century modern velvet chair. It could be a swivel rocker, or it's even better if it's got those legs. Get those debts paid off, and I'll see you on the flip side.